Paint that picture. You felt rejected, but now you're coming back home. You're saying, Lord, your son Jesus is my high priest. He understands and sympathizes with my weaknesses in this excruciating pain of rejection. In his name, I approach your throne of grace with confidence so that I may receive mercy and find grace to help me in my time of need. I ask you to forgive my sins and I receive your mercy. I expect your healing grace to dispel the rejection I am suffering because of the false accusations and demeaning actions of another. Father Jesus was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows acquainted with the harshest grief. The grief turning against me and treating me as an outcast is consuming me, just as my rejection consumed your son who freely gave his life for me. Forgive me for turning my back on Jesus and looking the other way. He was despised and I didn't care. Yet it was my grief he bore, my sorrows that weighed him down. He was wounded and bruised for my sins. He was beaten that I might have peace. He was lashed and with his stripes I was healed. In the face of rejection, I will declare, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear or dread? The Lord is my refuge and the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? I know right from wrong and cherish your laws in my heart. I won't be afraid of people's scorn or their slanderous talk. Slanderous talk is temporal and fades away. Your word never passes away. Father, I choose to look at the things that are eternal. Your justice and mercy shall last forever in your salvation from generation to generation. Your eyes are upon me, for I have right standing with you, and your ears are attentive to my prayer. You spoke to me and asked, now who is going to hurt you if you are a zealous follower of that which is good? In my heart, I set Christ apart as holy and acknowledge him as Lord. I am always ready to give a logical defense to anyone who asks me to account for the hope that is in me. But I do it courteously and respectfully. I purpose to see to it that my conscience is entirely clear or unimpaired. So that when I am falsely accused as an evildoer, those who threaten me abusively and revile my right behavior in Christ may come to be ashamed of slandering my good life. God, I am truly glad. There is a wonderful joy ahead. There is a wonderful joy ahead. Even though the going is rough for a while down here, these trials are only to test my faith to see whether or not it is strong and pure. It is being tested as fire tests gold and purifies it. And my faith is far more precious to you, Lord, than mere gold. So if my faith remains strong after being tried in the test tube of fiery trials, it will bring me much praise and glory and honor on the day of Christ's return. In spite of the rejection I have experienced, I declare that everything you say about me and your word is true. In spite of the rejection I have experienced, I declare that everything you say about me and your word is true. I am blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. I am chosen by you, my Father. I am holy and without blame. I am your child according to the good pleasure of your will. I am accepted in the beloved. I am redeemed through the blood of Jesus. I am a person of wisdom and prudence. I am an heir. I have a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Christ. I am saved by your grace. I am seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I am your workmanship. I am near to you by the blood of Jesus Christ. I am a new creation. I am of your household. I am a citizen of heaven. I am a partaker of your promises in Christ. I am strengthened with might by your spirit. I allow Christ to dwell in my heart by faith. I am rooted and grounded in love. I speak the truth in love. I am renewed in the spirit of my mind. I am your follower. I walk in love. I am light in you. I walk circumspectly. I am filled with the spirit. I am more than a conqueror. I am an overcomer. I am your righteousness in Christ Jesus. I am healed. I am free. I am salt. I am consecrated. I am sanctified. I am victorious. Everything you say about me, Lord, is true in your name.